Hi guys. I already filmed this intro, but then I came back and filmed it again because I had to go. I had to go and do things, very exciting things. I am moving tomorrow and I have to get a couple of things done, but I'm so excited. You guys know how much I hate this damn apartment and I'm finally getting out of here. I got a place in a very disclosed location, but I'm close to Kenzie and Austin and I'm just like, so excited to get out of here and start a new chapter because this apartment holds a lot of really terrible memories for me and like it just represents such a terrible time in my life so getting out of here and being in a new environment and also my new place has so much sunlight i am just I'm so excited to be zen and start fresh but that's besides the point that is not what this video is about today i'm going to be showing you guys my simple fall makeup routine which is so not my regular content but i was thinking about this today and every time fall comes around i switch up my makeup routine and i've never shown you guys that and i also never show you guys like in-depth makeup routines because i feel like i'm terrible at doing my makeup and i'm talking really fast i don't know why i need to take a deep breath <sighs> Anyway, I never show you guys in-depth makeup routines. I just like do it and then like speed it up and put music behind it. So I'm gonna do this for you guys because I've been getting a lot of comments about it because my makeup looks different lately. So we're gonna do my simple in-depth makeup routine. And the reason it's simple is because I'm not very good at doing my makeup. Like I can't do eyeshadow. I don't even wear foundation because I just don't, don't know how to apply it on my face where it looks right. This is simple and I'll show you guys all the products. We'll go through it all together and we'll catch up. Me and you, we're hanging out. Girls night. I'm back. I changed because that shirt was really see-through. It has been brought to my attention that I actually have a birthday dinner tonight, so this is perfect. Let's do my makeup. This, again, is super easy, super simple. I'm gonna tell you guys all my products so you can recreate it and we can be twins. So I have a dilemma. I already put this in my hand, but I put this on first. First things first, to prime my face, not prime, I guess, prep, I use the glazing milk from Rode. And I have to do this with one hand because I'm an idiot. It's like literally it looks like milk and I fucking love it. This fucking volcano is just painful. Like I don't mind the way my acne looks, like what, whatever. Everyone has pimples, it's normal. I just get upset when they hurt. Now, I'm gonna use the, this, I don't know what it's called, look at the packaging. It's the sun, tinted sunscreen Hailey Bieber, like made go viral. Whenever I say Bieber, I say Bieber. Hailey Bieber, but I know how to say Bieber. I just, like the first time I tried to say Bieber, it always comes out as like Bieber. Anyway, this stuff's really good and it's tinted and I don't wear foundation, so it gives me a little something. I just want it to like even my skin a little bit because I do have acne scars and hyperpigmentation, so I need a little something. Anyway, I use this, I put it all over my face. I usually do two coats because sunscreen is important and I, didn't wear sunscreen for the first 20 years of my life, so trying to catch up. Don't do that. Wear your sunscreen. This is, I think it's like Ultra MD. I think that's what the sunscreen is called. Earlier this month, which is another reason why I disappeared, I had bronchitis and it was really bad. It was really fucking bad. And I was hanging on by a thread. I'm all right now though. I do still have a cough, but like I don't, I'm not dying anymore. I need to like do the fucking makeup routine. I'm just talking. Every time I get a camera in front of me, specifically a vlog camera, because I'm not like, I'm not, I'm only this comfortable with you guys. Like on TikTok and stuff, I'm not this comfortable. But when it's just me and you, I am. And I just start fucking talking. Concealer. I actually just went back to this concealer. I've tried all the other ones. This is my favorite. It's the only one that doesn't crease under my eyes. I don't get it. I love this concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. And I do a little bit right here. I've, ow, I've, what, I've what, Sabrina? What the fuck are you trying to say? I've realized that less is more with me. Every time that I overdo my concealer, I end up hating how it looks. So I used to wear so much because of my acne scars, but whatever. There are bigger problems in people's lives than my acne scars. Nobody cares. Hi guys, Future Sabrina here. I just wanna pop in and thank the sponsor of this week's video. I don't know why I decided to do this at the end after I was already ready, but if you wanna see how I transform into this finished product, 
stay tuned. Anyway, thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring this week's video. You guys have heard me talk about BetterHelp before. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier because it's online, it's remote, and just by answering a few questions, BetterHelp can match you to a therapist in just a few days. Regardless if you struggle with mental health clinically or if you just need somebody to talk to, therapy can help give you the tools to approach your life in a different and more positive way. BetterHelp's mission is to make finding a therapist more affordable and accessible, which is great because finding a therapist can be really hard, especially when you're limited to options in your area. If you click the link in my description, betterhelp.com slash Sabrina you'll get 10% off your first month with BetterHelp. And because finding a therapist is a little bit like dating, if you don't click with the therapist that they match you with, you can switch to a new one at no additional cost. If this is something that interests you, please consider therapy with BetterHelp. Click the link in my description or go to betterhelp.com slash Sabrina for 10% off your first month. Thank you again, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this week's video. And now, back to my makeup routine. Now, my thing is... I finger paint. <laughs> I use my fingers. I think it like melts into my skin better. Ow, damn. You know what? That one really hurts. That one's out to get me. I just pat it in. Look how good this concealer is. You can't even see my acne scars. I just reviewed one of my podcast episodes and it was how to lose a girl in 10 days. That was the theme of my podcast episode and it was really funny. So you guys should go check that out if you want to hear me talk for a long period of time. So I was in Cabo and I did vlog it and it will be coming out soon, but I was in Cabo for a brand trip and I met like so many cool people there. And this girl came up to me and was like, oh, like I know you from your podcast. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, you know me from my podcast? And it was so cool because I just feel like most people know me from TikTok and if not TikTok, then YouTube. So I have never had anyone tell me that they discovered me through my podcast and it was just so cool. And she was talking to me about it and she was like, yeah, honestly, one of the biggest reasons I listen every week is because you have a really sexy voice. I like, I don't think I've ever blushed that hard in my life. Are you kidding me? I always talk about how I like aggravate myself with my voice and I think it's just because my job is to film myself. So I listen to myself talk all the fucking time. Like I'm going to edit this and hear myself talk for hours. So I just think my voice is fucking annoying and I talk really fast sometimes and it's just like, oh my God, but this girl this girl told me my voice was sexy and i don't think my ego has ever been that high in my life okay i'm gonna put some concealer on this one and just let it dry a little bit because because this is just not working with me okay so while that happens i'm going to put on my contour bronzer it's like the same thing to me i don't know the difference i use the milk makeup baked matte bronzers and it's in the shade baked and i do like a line right here for my nose contour, right under my cheekbone, right under my cheekbone, and right here. I use my fingers to do my nose. I just like rub it in, I don't know. And then a really disgusting brush to do the rest of my face. I just like bring it up. I don't like move it around too much because I want it to stay exactly where I placed it. And I go up here and into my eyelids. And then I lift this up. I don't even know why I do this because I have bangs. No one sees my forehead anyway. <laughs> so stupid actually now that I'm thinking about it. Same thing on this side, right where I placed it and I just kind of move upward and then I bring it into my eye. Then I do the excess. Ooh, that's such a makeup guru vocabulary thing for me to do. I use excess <laughs> on my jawline. Now let me just pat in the concealer. See, it's like covering more that it dried up a little bit. Now for my eyebrows, I, um, you guys know me. I love a big eyebrow, big bushy eyebrows. I just brush them as far up as I can get them. And that's literally it. This is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I love this thing. I've been using this since high school. I'm never gonna switch. Then I take this Anastasia brow definer in the shade Ebony. And I just kind of fill in like right here. I like my brows to look kind of dark, so. And then I take the other end and I just blend it all in. And while I'm doing this, like the gel that I put in is still setting, so it won't move around. This is from YSL Beauty. It is the Lip and Cheek Balmy Tint in the shade, I think this is in the shade Flush. It's this, like red. And I take this really dirty Charlotte Tilbury brush and I, also guys, I've started to realize I have this really bad stuttering issue when I speak English. And I've always thought about how like, me being bilingual comes through and if i have an accent which i've realized i don't have an accent but i learned how to speak english i my first language is spanish so the way that like comes through when i speak english is i have a, i stutter a lot because my brain doesn't really catch up 
to like my mouth sometimes. If you guys want me to do a full video in Spanish, let me know because that is like the language that I speak when I'm back home. That is the only language I use when I'm speaking to my parents. Like, and like all the music I listen to is in Spanish. But I never like share that part of myself with you guys. So if you want me to, let me know. Anyway, I put this blush like pretty high up and I bring it into my eyelids. I'm going to set my face. This is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus setting spray. And I'm just gonna let that like melt into my face. For my eyes, I have been doing a lot of brown eyeliner, but I switched back to black eyeliner when it got like started getting colder, which doesn't make sense because I feel like brown is more of a fall color, but I don't know. My nails are black again, my eyeliner's black again. I'm back to my roots, my emo high school Sabrina roots. I feel like it's dry enough. We're gonna go in with Hula Bronzer. The this is it. This is it. Like this has been it since middle school and it's still it. Like I, I love the bronzer. This is a little test one that I got at Sephora because I spent a ridiculous amount there the other day. I love it. It just like real, it made me realize how much I love the hula bronzer and I'm gonna go get it again. And then I take this fluffy brush and I, you know, and then I just bronze my, oh, that's the difference between bronzing and contouring. This is bronzing. So you know what I'm talking about sometimes. This is my favorite part. I take the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow. That is like such a pretty color. Do you see it? Do you see that? Now this is what really changes my makeup for me and makes it look like it took a lot more time than it actually did. And that's powder because I am a very oily person. I just have super oily skin. So I live for this powder. I need it every day. It is the Prism Libre Powder in Vol, vol, voila rose bro that's crazy it is this one from Givenchy what Givenchy 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 <laughs> I bake under my eyes and I bring it down and I just kind of pat it in down here and I specifically like to bake when I have like really big blemishes so this volcano will be getting baked I'm gonna let everything else brew and while I do that, I am going to, I forgot to do this, take the same bronzer, the hula bronzer, and the same brush I was using, and I'm just going to go over my nose contour. And by nose contour, I mean I just put one line down the middle. Now I'm going to do my eyeliner, and I'm going to do it off camera because I am not that gifted. Okay, this is like the best I'm going to get because there's nothing coming out of this, but usually my eyeliner looks a little bit better than this. Okay, now I'm going to take off the powder. And lightly, I'm going to put more setting spray on just so that it doesn't look like I'm a ghost. I'm gonna do my lashes, my lips, and then highlighter and we're done. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. I have really long eyelashes. They just don't like stay curled usually. They'll just droop down. So I gotta curl them constantly. And I have tried to get a lift, but it doesn't like do anything for me. I don't know what it is. So see, they're so long when I curl them. I've been using the same mascara routine religiously for a year and it doesn't fail me. So pay attention. This is the YSL Lash Clash Mascara. And I only do the ends of my eyelashes because if I go towards the root, my eyelashes will drip more. So I do the ends and I just put like a couple of coats of this one. This is just more of like fullness for me. And then for length, I use the super black Pillow Talk push-up lashes. I've been talking about this forever. You guys know I love this stuff. This helps me separate my lashes and it makes them so long. Look how fucking crazy and long these are. They literally look fake, it's crazy. And then I just put a little bit on my bottom eyelashes. I always get a lot of mascara on my eyelids, but I just let it dry and then I take care of it later. For highlighter, I use the Hollywood Moonlit Glow Highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. And I just put this on the tip of my nose and I use my fingers and put it lightly on my cheekbones. So I don't like too much highlighter. I'm more of like a matte person. I like to be matte. Now I'm gonna do my lips. This is my favorite part. I will not leave my house if I do not have lip liner on. It is like non-negotiable. I need it all the time. I've actually considered getting my lips blushed because it's that serious. So I usually use the Foxy Brown Lip Liner from Charlotte Tilbury, but this is what we're working with. See, this is what we're working with right now. There's no way. So I picked up this from the drugstore. It's the NYX Professional Makeup Matte Lip Liner in the shade London. So let's try it out. 
I like a good brown tone, so I don't know if this is gonna be brown enough for me. I mean, it's pretty good actually. It's definitely not dark enough for me. Let's try to get something out of this tiny little Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. I live by this. Okay, there's a little something. This is my shit. Like, I, there's just nothing like a good brown lip liner. Nothing. Now I'm gonna do the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. Love this stuff. I also love the Heat Lip Gloss from Fenty, but this is what I'm using right now. Yeah, it's like this perfect brown shade. Next order of business is taking the mascara off of my eyelids. I use a spoolie brush and it just kind of scrapes it right off and it doesn't smear it. I actually learned this when I was filming something and the makeup artist was like, just use a spoolie brush and it worked. Okay, so since I kind of rubbed off a little bit of my eyeshadow, I'm just gonna go back and reapply. Okay, this is my fall makeup routine. I love everything about it. I am so content with my makeup routine right now. So just wanted to share. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you recreate it, please let me know. Tag me so I can see it. We can be twins. I am ready. I fixed my bangs. I feel really cute. I love this makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I love you guys so much. I will see you guys next week. I kind of promise. I will try my best. I love you guys and thank you for hanging out with me.